Hey guys, Max here. Just thought I'd give you an update on uh, DC3. So I've done a fair bit of work the last sort of week. Probably the biggest things you might notice are the nacelles for the engines and the wing sheeting for the wings, outboard wing panels. Um, so they've been coming along fairly well. A uh, bit of sanding. Uh, we spoke about last time the uh, attachment points and all the reinforcements that I made. So that's all done. I'm, I've sort of sanded that over and put a bit of epoxy in there with some micro balloons. Um, <clears throat> so it's relatively smooth now, needs a bit more work. Uh, ailerons, so I've worked on the ailerons as well. So uh, basically with the sheeting, the, the design of the hinge system is such that you, um, on the trailing edge of the wing, I'll show you what I mean, um, I basically got a Dremel and set it for like one mil and just recessed this area um, and tested the fit, made sure that this hinge um, sort of was flush with the top of that spar um, so that when I put the sheeting over it, it sort of sandwiched and made it nice and snug. So um, that was like what the plan told me to do. So that's that's worked out really well along the trailing edge there. I've got all of those. Um, so that's come along really well. I'm happy with that. There hasn't um, hasn't been too many problems there. Uh, the move that out of the way. The nacelles uh, they came along really nicely. Basically, I just planked them. Uh, they still require a bit of sanding. I've just rough sanded them at the moment. Um, and I'll add some filler and and that sort of thing. If, if any guys actually got some advice on a filler I can use that's compatible with sort of fiberglass resin. Um, let me know. I'd be interested. Um, same with the Phillips. Uh, I did the Phillips today, actually. Just planked them. It's a bit tricky to get that sort of curve around this area right. So it's pretty rough. Needs a bit of sanding. It hasn't really had much work done to it at this point. They've just been sort of the bulk gluing. Uh, the plan for that is uh, I'll put some baking paper between here when it's after it's been. I think I'll wait till it's been fiberglassed. This this has been fiberglassed. Um, yeah, put the baking paper between it and get the really nice sort of knife edge fillet and then finish it off by some sort of filler to sand it. And, um, this back bit here, um, doesn't really say what to do in the plan. I'm guessing I just bring a piece of wood from here to here and then sort of do the same sort of planking thing. Any advice you guys have on that would be handy. Uh, same with the front. Um, it's sort of pretty rough and ready, but I uh, just need to, I guess, put some block there and just smooth it, sand it to suit. Um, I've done a bit of sanding also to the fuselage, so it's sort of looking a bit different from last time. It's a bit smoother, still needs a lot of work. Um, I think my next project's actually going to be to make a cradle with one of those pool noodles, because it's getting quite damaged just rolling around on the uh, table, which is... Yeah, pretty silly of me, but oh well, I'll fix that. Uh, that's the other nacelle, which has come out pretty good. Um, that's the other fillet. I've decided with the windows, um, I added backing to them. I'm going to make some Perspex um, like inserts for these and just insert them with a black backing. So that they look sort of really shiny like windows, but I figured there was no point in having them hollow. So you can see inside of the plane when there's no nothing in the plane worth seeing. It's just wood inside. Um, <clears throat> what else? We've I've done the empennage. Uh, basically, I've glued that all down, so that's sort of all good to go. Attached to the plane now. <clears throat> uh, there was some epoxy joints along here so it's epoxy there uh, it's epoxy there's like a main member down here um, it's been all epoxy down there uh, the pull pull system for the rudder I've also done um, that was time consuming uh, did a couple holes there wrong <laughs> but uh, I figured out it was better off routing them closer to this uh, leading edge of the stab uh, I'll show you the inside of the plane because I've done all the um, I've done all the uh, control lines as well, so that's for the, the rudder, one each side. So that's all been done. <clears throat> Got to sort of make that look pretty and everything. Uh, I've also planked and uh, sheeted 
the underside, which I'll flip it over and I'll show you guys that too. Uh, also put some reinforcement on the leading edges of the control surfaces. Um, I'll show you why. So when I made this uh, hinge, it was so long that I couldn't find a drill bit that would go down there, A, and B, if I could, the chances of me drilling a straight hole down there, all the way from there, all the way to there, wasn't going to work for me. So what I did was, let me get it out, hang on. Okay, so what I, what I did was, uh, if you have a look at that in cross section, if you look really closely, you can see that there's one piece of balsa there and one piece of balsa there. They were separate pieces that were glued onto the leading edge um, of the elevator there, sorry, the rudder there. And then a capping piece was glued over that. So I was worried that this interface here between that, 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 and that, at any time there could be some sort of failure of adhesive which I was trying to negate. I thought the best way of doing that was just to run this carbon fibre sheeting over the whole lot. Um, with, and it's got some <clears throat> epoxy resin on it as well and uh, that's wrapped around there as well so that basically it is, if, yeah, it's not going to let go, it should be very very strong shouldn't ever have a problem there but it was just something in the back of my mind I was like, whoa, uh, you know, if there's any problem there because you know, the other thing is too, when I was building this, those two pieces were probably a little bit close together so I had to do quite a lot of work uh, just uh, I was basically roughing up and hatching the end cross hatching the end of the wire I don't know if you can see that yeah and just running that down over and over again through the hole until it elongated to the point where the the wire actually went down nicely and smoothly without having too much without having any play actually um, also had to polish that wire lots to get that smooth interface um, so between that massive long hole the hinge holes and all of that lining up um, over that large distance I was just worried that um, there might be a little bit of torsion or something on that hole all the way down um, but it feels pretty smooth but it was just something that, yeah it doesn't add much weight for me to know that when I'm flying around this massive model that I've done everything I can to prevent any sort of failure um, same, I've done the same with the uh, elevators as well, so that's wrapped around as well, epoxied, so I'll feel quite happy flying this knowing that that is not going to be something I have to worry about. Um, I've spoke about the control surfaces, the control lines, um, what I'll do is I'll pause the video and I'll take the wings off and I'll show you what I've done inside the fuse, it's pretty cool. Alrighty, so to the underside, so basically they're the other two, two control rods, uh, they're like a heavy duty Jubro one, uh, that's the tail wheel sort of set up, I'm going to make a little canopy hatch thing for this because I want to be able to just have a look in there and I guess I'm probably going to need to adjust this, I've adjusted as best as I can for centre now. Um, but because it's attached to the rudder servo, any movements that I try to adjust here will affect the rudder and vice versa. So I'm probably guessing I'm going to need to undo this and just maybe twitch the wheel to suit where the rudder is. So that's why I've done that. Uh, so that's the underside sort of sheeted. I wasn't sure whether to carry this sheeting all the way up. I did here because the plan sort of showed it. But as I came around here, I just left that pretty rough because this is all going to be sort of covered with that rear fillet, which I need to do, still haven't done. Um, they're the wing seats, which I've already sort of cut ages ago. I just had to glue them in and all that. Um, and that is the rudder servo. So I haven't actually crimped these yet. I've crimped that end up, not this end, um, just because I'll wait till I have all the radio up and running and everything. Um, but I don't know how well. You can see down there, the lines running, and some like cross members. It's all really nice. I'm really happy with that actually. It took me a lot of work, 
but really happy. Um, what else? Today I actually, I also reinforced <clears throat> or just drilled some holes and put some screws in. This is the wing mount block under here, just in case if there's any problems. Like, I, I don't know, I'm a bit paranoid about <laughs> glue failing or anything, but I feel like I could uh, have the peace of mind of just knowing these screwed are screwed in as well. Um, so that's been done as well. Um, yeah, that's probably about it. Uh, I added the leading edge on the um, on the center section, um, which is there, and I've just got to add some probably about six mil of uh, flat sheet in here and blend it into this just to get the right. Um, the right transition from the wing seats down into this area but i haven't done that yet um also thanks for your advice guys on the fuel proofing if you have a look in there um there you go i've actually epoxied all that so it's nice and fuel proof now ready for the fuel tanks uh, I've got to fix these up, make them look nice and neat. I just realised that I needed to, as I was epoxying in the rear section, I was like, oh shit, I've got to do the front. So I quickly cut these out just to get the brush in there and get them all epoxied. Um, yeah, so that's come up alright. Uh, other than that, yeah, it's all been going pretty good. I think the uh, next thing is that dorsal fin on the, on the upper part of the body there. A fuse. Uh, I want to look into what options I have for the fillets and getting them nice and smooth and well as well. A um, bit more sanding. I haven't sanded that yet, so a bit more sanding and gap filling. And I've got some foam there. I was thinking about trying to add foam to this section. Um, I've got a actually I've got a um, hot wire cutter. So the, my plan was to just fill this in with some. Um, like this type of foam here, glue uh, glue all that in there and cut it and then sand the remainder of the once I've done the bulk. So yeah, it's coming along once again. Thanks for the guys that have uh, shown me some love on Facebook and have uh, given me some solid advice. Um, keep watching and I'll try to get another video as my progress goes on. Thanks guys. Stay safe. See ya.